Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz, and today we are going to be making puppy chow. Not to be confused with dog food. We are making human food. This is actually Christmas puppy chow, and it's actually quite delicious and easy to make. And it doesn't require any baking. So let me show you how to make it. Pretty fast, pretty quick, pretty easy. You guys ready? All right, let's do it. First thing you wanna do is measure your cereal into a large bowl, and I mean large. Set that aside, then to a saucepan, add in your semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can use milk chocolate if you prefer. Add in your peanut butter, whatever kind of peanut butter you like. Just make sure it's the smooth kind of peanut butter, you don't want the crunchy. And add in your butter. Then melt this until it is nice luscious and creamy looking. Don't walk away from it because it might burn. And it happens quite fast, especially if your butter is at room temperature and you're using chocolate chips, they just melt and dissipate and become one luscious, lovely thing with peanut butter and chocolate. Once everything has melted in your little saucepan, pull it off the heat and add in your vanilla. Stir it up quickly. Well, not quickly. You don't wanna rush things. Don't rush perfection. And then once your vanilla is nicely incorporated into your peanut butter chocolate mixture, mixture, <laughs> mixture, I cannot speak for the life of me. Once your vanilla is mixed into your peanut butter chocolate mixture, you want to start adding your chocolate peanut butter mixture to your cereal mixture in batches, like three, four batches, whatever works for you. I started out and I didn't divide this evenly. It doesn't matter, just get the job done, fold it in in small batches. Once everything is incorporated to the best of your abilities, set those aside, all the cereal and the chocolate and the peanut butter goodness, and make sure you scrape your saucepan out you know, from all the chocolate and peanut butter. So set your cereal off to the side, then to a Ziploc bag, make sure it is a big Ziploc bag. Add in your powdered sugar and your sprinkles, whatever kind of sprinkles you want. Since it's Christmas, we're using Christmassy sprinkles. I just have these random ones that I picked up from, I think it was like Home Goods or TJ Maxx or something like that. Add them to your Ziploc bag. And then in batches, you want to start adding your cereal mixture to your powdered sugar mixture. And you wanna shake your bag and just get it all combined. You'll see that by the time you get to the top or fill in your bag, you won't be able to mix it that well. It's okay, as long as it has a little bit of powdered sugar, you're fine. Then you wanna dump all of this mixture onto a wax piece of paper or parchment paper in my case. You could put it on a baking sheet. It's up to you. Do whatever works for you in your kitchen and then kind of mix it up and spread it out. You want it to cool for about an hour or so at room temperature. Once it is nicely cooled off, you can enjoy your puppy chow. Believe it or not, growing up, again, <laughs> since I'm Romanian, we have different traditions, different foods and stuff like that. I didn't even know what puppy chow was. So when I first heard of puppy chow and humans were making puppy chow and eating puppy chow, I was like, ooh, that's disgusting. Why would humans eat puppy chow? That doesn't make any sense. So I had a hard time coming to terms with that this Christmas puppy chow is not dog food. <laughs> Just a little backstory. But I've been super excited to share this recipe with you. Pretty delicious it's chocolatey, peanut buttery, I love the crunch from the cereal. The sprinkles just add that much more festivity to this already super festive season in our lives. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and I hope you enjoy this recipe. So make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks.